A memorial service for the late Margaret Whitlam was held in Sydney this afternoon. Mrs Whitlam, wife of former Prime Minister Gough Whitlam, died last weekend at the age of 92. She was without doubt a woman of style and substance, wit and wisdom. In 1973, she took Gerald Stone from this day tonight on a tour of her new home, The Lodge. I don't like this too much. Mm, it, is, it is rather old-fashioned, isn't it? For... Mm -hmm. We don't like a certain amount of old-fashioned space, but we don't like uh, the inefficiency of uh, old-fashioned things. Does the Prime Minister have any uh, uh, eating peculiarities? Does he like certain foods or favourite dishes? He just likes to eat. He doesn't like to be tempted by the things that make him fat or keep him fat, but he, um, he's an inveterate refrigerator raider. Uh, what, late at night or any time when he comes home? Whenever he comes home, any time. And do you make sure that there's something raidable in the uh, Certainly fridge? Certainly not. No, I let him see what he can get. Yeah, how about you? Do you have any particular foods you like? I just like food. Can't you see? Well, uh, in 20 seconds, because I know an awful lot of ladies would be uh, asking, do you have a favorite recipe? You could give us a, a brief recipe in 20 seconds. Yes, I have a recipe that I give to all the charitable organizations that ask for it. It's called Fabulous Fruit Salad, and it starts with a can of pears. And I won't give you the rest of it, because we haven't got time in 20 seconds. But it's very easy, and everybody likes it, and you can serve it plain with cream, with ice cream, or with custard. So it suits all pockets, too. Well, this room, for obvious reasons, is called the brown room, and it mm. looks like the type of place where men retire for brandy and cigars while the women uh, uh, disappear into the powder room. Or do you see it that way? Well, I, I've only seen it actually filled with women since I've been here because the women did come uh, from foreign affairs, and it was filled with women on the hottest day in the year. Uh, but I can imagine what you mean. I notice a very heavy emphasis on Greek literature. Uh, well, that's is that my your husband's style? Your, your no, no. <laughs> well, what is your reading? Uh... I'm, you know, I, I read trivia, hmm. inconsequential things, or current things, and uh, it's my task to weed those out and put them about. Hmm. So I've been left some space, as you see, and uh, they'll be, it'll be well filled. Hmm. I really do rather like it. I like the depth and the, the warmth. And after all, that picture over there is very dramatic. That's a, a David Boyd, is it? That's a David Boyd. And that, of course, is on loan from the National Gallery that doesn't exist yet. Hmm. Now, this was called the breakfast room, but I think we'll have to call it Margaret's room now because <laughs> you, you commandeered it uh, for your purposes. What are those purposes? Oh, I don't know. It was suggested that this would be a nice room for me to do anything I wanted to do that didn't have a, a space for it already. And I think I'll just have to use it for doing my correspondence, which is becoming more and more enormous and which has no home. So I can see a home just over there, a nice longish table. There was something that interested me. You, you, overall, you haven't been very interested in changing very much of the lodge, uh, but you were quite adamant when I spoke to you yesterday that this orange carpet here has to go. Now, wh wh what's wrong with well, that? Well, I've since found out how much it cost, and I found it can't go. <laughs> so it's got to stay. <laughs> But, uh, well, that what worries me when you come up the stairs in the daytime and there you see an orange carpet on top of a green carpet. I think if it were green, it would be perfect in this room, which has a very nice, quiet feeling of a garden. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have anything against orange itself? Oh, no, no. It's very fashionable, hey, it, very gay. Do you want to take a, a guess at which Prime Minister's lady introduced the orange carpet? Well, I know it was recent, so there's only one. I'm not guessing. 